Well, I didn't want to fade that out, but I, I have been back a little while. Uh, it was it was all very interesting. The 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 tech tech hub is part. I think it's part of the innovation centre. Sorry, innovation hub. There is there is an innovation centre. I know on the on the campus, with a a very good cafe. Um, and Tech Exeter is there on th- on e- e- the first Thursday of every month breakfast, if you're a tech person. And I have discovered a bit a bit more about STEM and STEAM. I I don't think there's much happening. The there was funding for STEM, um, but it sort of vanished during lockdown. There wasn't much going on then, and, and it doesn't seem to have come back. And certainly there isn't an arts aspect to that. Um, but I'm I'm going to go back. There was a, there was a brief mention for this technology innovation space, and the intention is to make a better connection with the city. So I'll go I'll go back at some point and talk to them a bit more. Um, creative industries are definitely included, so maybe that's the way to um, look at how to get the drama show connected with that scene it's part of the creative industries innovation not arts in stem although it could be that as well and it certainly would be that in 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 bet terms although it wasn't on the map i'm not i'm not just mumbling i'm letting you know what i've what i've observed <laughs> and it will make it will make some sort of sense at some point when when we got to bet this year there wasn't on the map that you you can download any mention of a, a STEM or STEAM village, but there was a sign for a STEM village when you got there. But maybe Bitmicro had just put that up. Not not sure. We'll carry on trying to talk to different people and see what's what's possible. Um, I like the idea of 15 minute villages so I'm going to um, carry on with the idea of a 15 minute steam village in Exeter that's somewhere between the Phoenix and the innovation hub and takes in the library and the the museum and the HMV shop and a few, few other places I just did some quick quick little bits of video which I, I'll be able to work out what the time was I think so we'll see what, what where you can get to in 15 minutes but that was that was okay I don't, I don't know how it worked for you listeners um, dropping into half halfway through Corridoctoro on copyright that is very relevant by the way um, copyright is is the thing there's some um, continuing stories about universal music and TikTok and if, if you're at all interested in any of these things do do try and get into the details of that because um, somebody estimated this is something like 150 million was paid by TikTok which it either sounds a lot or, or not very much compared to some other number but also universal music are worried about the AI um, processing that TikTok creatives might be, but I, d- I don't know what TikTok can do about that. Anyway, the 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 the, the news in terms of Exeter is that there is a a project called Disco. This this I did find out at Tech Tech Exeter, but if you want the the website, you have to go to its Disco I T S D I S C O. Uh, and I've tweeted that, R-T-S-D-I-S-C-O, from We Not Know, W-E-N-O-T-N-O. Um, so you can t- you could t- uh, follow follow We Not We Not Know on, and you'll get the link, or just type in I-T-S-D-I-S-C-O dot com, and they they are sort of hanging this off different um, streaming services and trying to add on a lot more social networking and the the ability to send a link directly to music 
because they think the the social aspects of music sharing and discovery have got lost and that's that's very interesting um but they didn't they didn't really mention radio um but they're not against radio i, d- I did speak to them after the after the presentation and, and um i'm going to try and get more people from phonic interested in this because we're we're doing more with with twitter and other platforms and um i don't think radio is gone and these techie people would be would be good to talk to because um the problem going the other way is how you fit whatever you can find um from a streaming platform into into a, a radio studio uh we've just to describe the studio the problem situation we've got we've got a classic fm desk i think the producer's arriving somebody's at the at the door oh i've got to press a button hang on just just a moment uh that's all right for, for timing reasons um yes we need we need an we've got we've got other bits and pieces coming into the desk now from other sources but we need a something on the on the screen that allows us to easily queue up and start and stop bits of sound from social media uh, because at the moment it, it's all a bit uh, un- unreliable anyway this is a cd player uh, for Stevie Wonder singing a Marvin Gaye song <laughs> 